Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where we're trying to survive as long as possible on Legendary Iron Man with about 90 plus mods that are all trying to make our life a little bit more difficult. Double enemy pack size, yellow alert, a better advent and hundreds of new enemies that are all just upgraded and more difficult versions of the normal enemies. You will find the full list of mods in the description down below. If you want to knock yourself out, please go ahead. Today it's time for Operation Frozen Moan, where we're trying to get another scientist because I'm convinced if we're just stacking scientists long enough, we will at least be ahead of the research curve. That in return will allow me to upgrade weapons fast enough to at least maybe reach the mid game um, and then we will take it from there. There are sectoid abductions in here. Aliens are abducting civilians and uh, resistances in the area. So that, that in itself is interesting. Then there are bandits on top of it and there are on top of the, on top uh, of it, a dark elder. So it's kind of this here is the cake. This here is the icing on the cake. And this is the cherry on the icing of the cake, potentially with another icing around the cherry, which uh, will be an interesting way of going about it. Three side trips in one go. We got Wilson a second uh, as a sniper coming in. We get a taxi and uh, inappropriate Murphy, who still somehow carries that uh, grossly violating color of a rifle. Uh, we got uh, Inquisitor, our new uh, skirmisher, and we get Synapse here to lay down uh, the hate with his uh, immense amount of uh, grenades. What I'm wondering is, do we have enough uh, supplies? No, we don't. There's nothing we can build. I was just wondering if we could uh, put uh, that flashbang on Wilson and just get something better on Inquisitor, but it is what it is. Let's jump into the mission and see how well this is going. All right, so we landed. We got nine turns and a pretty long train to uh, to go through before we are going to reach the network shutdown. My biggest uh, problem is potentially the time and just the amount of enemies that we're facing, but. Let's uh, see if that uh, worry is becoming a real concern over the actual mission. Some of you have asked me to share my thoughts around the mods and I am happy to do that, although they are quite preliminary, but let's not do that during the actual mission. I would much rather prefer to do that right after the mission. It's kind of 10 uh, season, uh, 10 episodes in, which is enough to have a first impression. And then maybe every 10 episodes I'll update the viewpoint. So we got an abductor and an advent trooper. Not surprisingly, because there was a side trip around um, abduct abductions in here. So you would guess that that is a real concern. And the idea here, from my perspective, would be let's move in as far as we can and try to not engage but keep concealment and maybe these guys will start fighting each other. Okay, a couple of sound uh, bits there. Thankfully, our grappling hook will allow us to push in as deep as possible. And what was that? I just saw around 100 hit points here, maybe even more. So there are definitely some bandits around. Okay, it just had become more interesting. What the hell is a Dark Elder Rack with 22 hit points to their name? That is incredible. How are we supposed to get through that? That's almost like putting a Berserker in here. 
but we haven't really upgraded all of the weapons yet. Okay, I'm trying to take that back entrance here. And let's see how this Royal Rumble will play out. So, normally I wouldn't stay back but engage, but I think it'll be fun for a mission to just see how three factions are battling one another. Clearly, the bandits have taken kind of the short end of the stick here. Not only are they in the middle of everybody, but if you just compare the amount of uh, stats that they have to work with, bandits have like three to five hit points and 60-ish uh, to hit. That sounds very much like rookie slash, uh, slash squaddy XCOM members. And the enemies already have armor. And I'm not even going to talk about kind of the 20 plus hit points that the elders are bringing to the table. Those racks are hardcore. Alright, so the Dark Elders seem to hate the Abductor. I cannot blame them for that. The Abductor becomes stronger and stronger as more enemies die. Alright, first Abductor is already dead. Okay, they are focusing the abductors. That's really clever, but equally threatening. Okay. I'm not sure what to think. The Dark Elders seem like they are playing in a different league, in a league um, on their own. Good. For now, I'm just trying to get high ground here and take a look at what these guys are doing. But clearly, this year is not working out well. And you should not kill the bandits, my friend. I think that's not a very clever thing to do. All right, Advent is getting some reinforcements, much needed reinforcements, that is. Oh, and the tower does not like that elder standing behind cover. Five point crit, lovely. What, four point, four hit point regeneration? Are you telling me that these monsters, which have 15 movement and poisonous melee attacks that seem to not miss, are you telling me that they, on top of it, have 4 points of regeneration? Hardcore. You should not focus on Advent, dudes. Like, this tower should be the least of your concern. Yeah, Dark Elders, that should be your concern. But apparently, they are not listening. Alright, when they are burning, they cannot attack. That is good to know. Problem is, not all of them are burning. We don't have incendiary grenades at this point. Inappropriate Murphy. Just takes a good look. I don't want to be spotted out. 
for now the only action that I would like to take is a defensive one. Moving over here, I would like to keep both of these entrances shut. The moment that we're engaging, these beasts seem to stay on low ground. Okay, so the poison is a real problem. The fight definitely is intensifying here. As we are in the middle of all of the slaughterhouse. And we gotta be careful. This here is a... Uh, it's still an even battle. Advent seem to take um, seem to cause them a few losses and two of the dark elders cannot act as it stands and now we're seeing zombies on top of it <laughs> that was a stupid idea dude the dark elders are your problem And not the small little bandits. Okay, they haven't killed a single one of these guys yet. And from what I can tell, their biggest weakness indeed is fire. Seems to somewhat stop the regeneration as well. Yeah, now we're seeing the same problem as before. Lots of these guys are just charging in. Five turns. Let's uh, think that through. We need to stop it which means we need to go through that next turn this guy will die yeah this is kind of one of those turns where okay. if i'm not helping like right now advent will lose their kind of momentum here Soldier gains co uh, complete immunity from the next two attacks. I think we're taking that. Okay, not bad. Which will allow an inappropriate Murphy to stay down here. Good. That Vanguard in itself is dangerous. Yeah, I think we're. I think we will need to start with cleaning up the field on both ends. And part of that, unfortunately, is to get rid of some of the strong um, Advent units as well. So let's focus and get these guys down. I think that would be a defensively appropriate move because uh, then their movement would be hampered quite a lot. Time to dish out damage and we definitely need to 
start to focus uh, these guys down. This here is a tricky position because we would open ourselves up. We'll try to kill him. He's still burning. We're positioning ourselves here. We are being flanked. But if we're not, that's a problem as well. These here currently are not moving towards us, so... Yeah, I don't want to be flanked. Unless here is a no-win situation. Good. That solves one of our problems. I think the immunity does not cover mind control. Maybe it does. All right, that sector wants to continue to live, which is good. I like it. Well, now it's time for us to just hit them on, uh, hit both of the factions, right? The bandits are doing their worst. All right, so down here, inappropriate Murphy requires that aid protocol. And we need to push forward, elsewise this is going to be a problem. Our sniper. Can continue to hit the Elder. Dishing out some damage. Okay, we need to prevent them from coming up here. That's the main focus. So this blocking here will need to happen. Also can't accept this guy. Stand there. Whatever you say. Moving up. Could try to open the side here. Not sure if it will explode, but it is a good timing to try to do that because it will give us an angle to hack. The answer is the grenade is not strong enough, unfortunately. Focusing on the editors, I think that's the right play here. Still need to get to that target. The abductor is doing what the abductor is supposed to do, just create more enemies on the battlefield. 
I think this here is kind of a side conflict between both of them at this point. Just don't jump down. Alright, that's fine. Okay, bandits, for whatever reason, are trying to suppress us. Dude, I'm not even your enemy at this point. But it seems to be one of those, the enemy of my enemy type of setups. We gotta do something about those Dark Elders monsters that are running around Amok. Well, Sen takes shot, but oh my god, they also have dodge. These guys are imbalanced in kind of the literal meaning of the word. <laughs> so hardcore. Um, another dodge. Okay, cool. No, we gotta continue our eight protocol down here to make ourselves the least attractive target. And we are continuing. I don't want to take that overwatch shot. No, no, no. Uh, that uh, shot, I much rather would like to overwatch, but we are suppressed, so I suppose this here is still the best thing to do. Perch Trooper kind of moves forward with implacable, uh, Implacable. That was your chance to kill that Dark Elder, dude. But you messed it up. All right. My gut feel, well, doesn't take kind of an expert for that, but still, my gut feel was these guys would uh, be a real pain in the rear. Just overwatching here. And that gut feel definitely has proven to be correct. Four points of damage, that's just a 50-50. No All right, come on. Appropriate Murphy gets that extra support that he needs. Hmm. 
I'd like to position him in the open, but it's just a melee attacker, so... Cover won't make any difference. I have the damn feeling that we have just lost our workstation, but apparently I can hack the thin air. Ooh, ooh, enemy prop call. All right, let's give it a try. Nah, so close. So we heard glass, right? Let's be a tiny bit greedy here. Just an Elarium Ill core, I was hoping for a bit more. Third trooper means we are we're still positioned here. We can't really move. Uh, we got synapse there and. Okay, so this guy wants to come up. I clearly don't want him to come up, so what we're going to do is we're removing the access ladder. Also dealing some damage <coughs> whilst doing that. <coughs> Sorry, a little bit of a Thor throat. And then there's that overwatch. Okay, aggressive. Yeah, whom are you going to shoot? There is no one, dude. Oh, so he's now going for civilians. All right. Got you. A little extra hit. And I think we're just going to go up here. Plus reload. Inappropriate Murphy has done an inappropriately good job in this particular mission he hacked the terminal so everything was good uh, he could run up here but he does not have enough movement We're closing that third ladder, which means inappropriate Murphy will uh, just stay over here, kind of have that extra angle, and let's wait for him to come out.
reloading and let's hit this guy good damage i like it all right and we're going to go to town with him One HP. Okay, that means we can kill him for sure because we got the stock. Oh boy! Oh boy! Moving Overwatch. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. I wouldn't call that flawless. Uh, that was a tough, tough interaction. So. I don't know. The Dark Elders, they seem to be highly overtuned. Let's maybe use that as an opportunity to go into the mods so far. So, what's working well? Uh, I think the new enemies overall are fun. I haven't fought enough against them to really have, an, have a vested opinion, but we've seen the kind of Purge faction, and they seem like a really good um, early game edition. Uh, implacable kind of um, uh, kind of uh, very aggressive uh, moves I really like what I'm seeing there uh, the, uh, mm, the the whole fire theme also works uh, well and I think it uh, mm, gives kind of the the idea of that Edwin purifier and just having more of those fire units a nice little appeal so they seem to be working really well uh, we then had the bandits or the Reaper faction uh, mm, they really seem a bit uh, underpowered and of course you have the other end of the spectrum with the dark elders which just seem to be completely over the top like 22 hit points four points regeneration um, plus an attack that poisons Th that's arguably stronger than a berserker oh i forgot they can dodge and double move plus hit so i'm just wondering how that just compares to the other factions it's great for the playthrough because the elders just seem to be incredibly strong but uh, it doesn't pair so well with uh, the uh, with the reaper faction or the Re reavers scavengers the scavenger faction uh, which brings me to the problem with that extra faction i think there is an element that allows me to just sit back and let them chew through their hit points vice versa and then we're, we're just coming in so i potentially need to self-impose the restriction on me after this mission that i'm not going to sit into uh, into concealment unless of course it uh, it uh, is just a, the first round of movement but after that i need to enter combat uh, elsewise this is uh, too prone for any form of abuse then looking at the lost and uh, those mods i think the no headshot mod makes it so much harder uh, so that uh, works well for what we're trying to do i uh, i'm not sure if it is a bit overtuned for the start of the campaign because the losts are just uh, spawning faster than you you can kill them with four to five men maybe with a six man group and more abilities later it is different but at the beginning it's just it's overwhelming um, and then finally kind of yellow alert and I am torn on that mod I see what it is trying to do which is essentially it's trying to get rid of the one dimensionality of the game in a sense where and I don't think that XCOM 2 is one dimensional but I, I can see the kind of line of argumentation of the mod creator is um, it is one dimensional to move in. Uh, with your uh, with your uh, soldiers and then always try to do overwatch traps in reality it is uh, not what i see as kind of the biggest disadvantage so far with yellow alert is every single mission seems to play out similarly where you uh, where we start a fight and then just everybody engages and it is a crazy massive uh, shootout however it is not a shootout that would have happened like with a missed pull where you're moving in and then you're triggering two packs and then the next one just comes in uh, into the next uh, in the next round 
where you are slowly advancing. I have had it multiple times that uh, I just kept in, in high ground position and the enemies were piling up and up and up and were running into us. So imagine that one uh, mission on the bridge, now this mission and also uh, the, uh, the U UFO shutdown, which essentially allows you to dig in and just weather the storm so to speak i could see smoke grenades to be highly effective you're just throwing that and you're uh, camping a rooftop and then you're just mowing down the enemies and with with uh, resistance orders like the plus two turns i think overall that you're reasonably effective in just getting everybody down because you're just removing all of the cover as long as you can remove most of the cover or reduce it to half cover uh, and the enemies are just rushing into you essentially you don't have the problem that you need to move and reload and shoot where sometimes you're just getting yourself into difficult situations the movement part just is completely gone and you're standing there trying to optimally kill and deal as much damage so i am skeptical on that yellow alert i'm not sure if it is actually making the game more difficult an experienced player that can read the map very well will dig in uh, into a kind of uh, so advantageous position that the enemy funnels into you and then you're just lawn mowing them down so i'm not sure if they have done themselves a huge service with the mod but that's the first uh, kind of quick and uh, dirty thought process behind it i will reserve judgment for later uh, that's after 10 uh, 10 missions with the mods Good, research time further down, two more days, uh, and I know that we wanted to uh, get intel, then wanted to uh, get uh, more alloys, and yeah, seven days intel is not going to work, uh, guys, we need the reaper intel, so we wanted intel into alloys into basically armor and i don't know why we have 15 alloys now uh, apparently we have looted some is that good enough um, Another important step forward in our gauss rifle mac cannon lab construction is irrelevant but we get an instant uh, research uh, for mine shields fantastic and we are now up for plated armor which is just enough to go through that great so apparently we have looted four uh, alloys not sure how that works but um, maybe that was part of uh, the the loot of the last mission nonetheless we do have soon enough intel to go to the black market I think it was 40 into. Uh, we wanted to build proving grounds next. Proving ground facility construction initiated. No, we don't. Wait, wait, wait. We need to free this up and. No, that's. Three excavation, two excavation. Yeah, we're better off uh, with excavating more. Next up, I think we are going for an infirmary. So far, we're okay. Could update the resistance ring. 100 supplies. We're okay on power. Yeah, but mm, if we upgrade the resistance ring, we need to build another power relay. That might not be optimal either. I'll wait for now. We don't have a resistance order that is so strong that I would want to have, have it right now. I would like to upgrade our weapons uh, though. So maybe we can get some money here. First of all, purchase alien alloys, 40 intel. Yes, thank you. That's what we needed. 
Now, in terms of selling, that's good. I want to keep one trooper corpse. Damn it, that's a lot of money for the assault troopers. That is a lot of money. Do we have anything else? A data pad, we need that. I think I'll just go and sell one more trooper. That's good. 120. Let's shortly upgrade a few of our weapons uh, because those are actually going to be important. We need way more supplies. We need another 148 supplies. Good, we're scanning here because that upgrade is important. A landed UFO. Holy moly. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Good. We got enough alloys for one upgrade. And I think it's going to be the Gauss Rifle. Mech cannons aren't bad either. But I think the Gauss Rifle is better for now. The Bulpap would be, would be fun as well. But we just don't have the necessary alloys. But we're up for a landed UFO which is actually giving us uh, those necessary alloys if we are successful. So a couple of things here, just trying to look at soldiers AP and they are horribly low. <coughs> Inappropriate Murphy as Shredder. Shredder is a good ability and I really like seeing him on on Shredder. I did my best to get the new recruits ready for what their role on the walls, but having the commander back is a bigger confidence boost than any speech. Okay, well, not enough currently. How, how is the team doing overall? Like we got Russ <laughs> and Ender is available and Cannon, so that's already a good solid team. Hogbite is uh, there, which is great. Yeah, we, we got a team ready. Well, for the next mission. That's good. Cool. Uh, that brings us to the end of today's episode. And if you like uh, Bradford as much as I do, if you want to see him tell the like button that, uh, that the aliens are making progress, then smash that. Maybe he will quote it and let uh, YouTube know. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in two days. Bye-bye.